does this or does this not look like the beginning or the end of any horror movie you've ever seen? Let me show you this back here. Kind of an interesting little path between trees at a historic cemetery. Welcome to Cemetery Explorations. And today we are at the Rockton Township Cemetery in Rockton, Illinois. And I know this, the name, the city, probably doesn't mean a lot to you guys, but this place has a lot of history, a lot of uh, historic people, um, interesting names, and things tied to a lot of places and a lot of uh, interesting things in American history. So let me just show you a couple of graves here. A lot of fascinating stuff here, a lot of really interesting headstones, and a lot of people here are Civil War veterans. There's a lot of people here that were not, um, you know, more than just Civil War soldiers. Let me take you over here and show you this. Now, this is, if you guys follow Civil War history, and they do mark Civil War um, graves in here. Let me just show you this. Hopefully you can see it okay. It says Veteran of the Civil War, 1861 to 1865. This right here, is Elon Farnsworth. Now he was a, well, he died as a brigadier general, I suppose you could say. He worked his way through the army. His uncle was John Farnsworth, who was a pretty well-known guy back then. He was a state representative. He was in the army, a very distinguished guy. But Elon Farnsworth kind of fell in his, in his uncle's footsteps and he rose through the ranks of the Union Army and he was appointed Brigadier General by President Abraham Lincoln, but his nomination was not confirmed by Congress before Elon Farnsworth was killed on the battlefield of Gettysburg. He died July 3rd, 1863, 25 years old. They marked it on here, fell at the Battle of Gettysburg, and they put Brigadier General on his grave, which is a nice and touching sentiment, but he, he never got to appreciate the rank of that because of his premature death. So that's just one of many, many people here. I'll show you guys a couple other things. If you guys want to see a full cemetery tour, leave a comment and let me know because I know that so far I've only shown you guys Hollywood videos and, uh, you know, things like that. So let me know if this stuff interests you because this channel's brand new. I'm not sure what everybody wants to see. But this is a new, a newer gravestone. But the father here, Myron Fraser, born 1842, died in 1917. He was a Civil War veteran also. Now he would have went to the Civil War. If he went when the Civil War started, he would have been 19 years old. So that was, you know, pretty common back in the time. A very modern stone, so the family must be you know, they must still come out and take care of this grave site, which is nice. But there's a lot of interesting gravestones. There's a lot of interesting people here. Ties to American history. Now, a lot of people know the story of the Titanic. You know, a huge... I, I don't know if I want to say, a, like, a failure of shipbuilding or anything like that, because that wasn't exactly how it worked. But everybody knows the story of the Titanic and, you know, very tragic thing. But a lot of people do not know about something called the Eastland disaster. Now, in 1915, there was a company outing and there was uh, there were a ton of people boarding a ship called the Eastland. And the ship ended up capsizing. Hundreds of people were killed. And it was one of the largest loss of lives in American history in one day, especially on a ship. So there's there's a whole story on it. There's a huge, I'll, I, I will do more videos on this, but I just wanted to touch on this briefly because one of the victims of the Eastland disaster is also buried right here. So another tie into American history, but right here is... This is Grace Stevens, born 1891, a victim of the Eastland, July 24th, 1915. 
Now I've been here a couple of times to record videos for different channels and I have been here probably a dozen times and I did not know that a victim of the Eastland disaster was buried here until somebody commented um, on one of my previous videos and told me about it and I went I came back and checked it out and sure enough it was uh, she was here but I never knew about that now just going through some of these there are a lot of historic stones a lot of interesting things here and you know this channel like I said it is brand new in memory of John Griffiths Died April 27th, 1862. Say aged 80 years. That was a long life back then. American Legion, so he would have been a veteran. But that is beautiful. But it's just a very peaceful cemetery. There's a lot of interesting places I want to take you guys over the next couple of months. Um, I want to take you guys to some Chicago cemeteries, some Hollywood cemeteries. Um, but let me know if you guys like history, if you guys like Hollywood, um, or a mix of everything, or just sit random cemetery walks and we look and see who we find. You know, sometimes you can find all kinds of different things um, and interesting people that you didn't know anything about, and sometimes a little bit of research shows you something that just blows your mind. So... For today, I just kind of wanted to uh, show you guys this, what I consider to be kind of a hidden gem in terms of cemeteries, because there is, I mean, there are a lot of really historic stones, just beautiful, beautifully designed stones, memorials, monuments, and this place is really just kind of in the middle of nowhere. You'd never know about it if you didn't know this was here. But they do a great job. Um, taking care of the grounds here. They do a great job at keeping up the cemetery. So I got to, you know, hats off to to this, uh, this cemetery here and the town for taking care of it. Now, there was something else I wanted to show you guys over here that I walked by earlier. But this stone right here, this and this is a lot newer stone, but this is Charles Reed. And he was in the War of 1812. You don't see many of these, but he was born April 16th, 1784, passed away August 26th, 1863. You don't see too many from the War of 1812, but that is really, really cool. And it also says that he was, he also has the Civil War one here too. So I kind of wonder if maybe he was a, uh, some kind of higher ranking official maybe. I mean, he lived a long, good life, but he passed away during the Civil War, so I'm not sure. This uh, would be an interesting story to look into. Charles Reed. So if anybody wants to go down the rabbit hole and check out uh, what the information is on him, it might be an interesting story. But that's just a very small sampling of... Uh, people and interesting things here. If you guys want to see more, let me know. I'll do full cemetery tours. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know because like I said, this channel is brand new and I'm kind of trying to feel things out and see what everybody wants to see. So that's all I have for today so far, guys. Uh, take care and uh, let me know what you want to see next. Have a safe and happy 4th of July week.